Hello third graders, welcome back. This is uh, Mrs. Smith here. Today we are beginning the part of unit three where we are learning to tell time on an analog clock. So uh, just to be quick about it, you'll be learning to read time to the hour, half hour, quarter hour, five minutes, and minute, as well as describing the time before the next hour and after the next hour. So that sounds like half past seven, quarter till eight, stuff like that. Um, so for example, you can read 349 as both after before the hour. So 49 minutes after three or 11 minutes before four. Um, and then we'll be putting that in both words and how it would look on a digital clock. Um, and then just practice telling time. You'll get the hang of it. Take some practice. We'll be counting by fives between all the um, larger lines and then by ones for the smaller lines, okay? So the letters are in Spanish. If your family reads in Spanish here, um, normally in the class we would uh, put this together as a little clock. It doesn't work very well, but this is a good reminder. The little hand is the hour hand. The longer hand is minute. You can remember like the word hour is shorter than the word minute. So um, when you're looking at the hands, it's really important that you're looking at the right one. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're telling time to the 15 minutes. First, we look at the hour hand, and we see it's pointing at the nine, and then we look at the minute hand, and it's at the zero. So nine hour, the hour is nine, and the minutes is zero. So nine, zero, zero, like that. And then we say nine, O oh, apostrophe, clock. Nine o'clock, nine on the clock. Next one, look at that hour hand, the short hand. It's on the 11 and the minute hand is also on the zero. So 11, zero, zero on the other side of the colon. We say 11, O apostrophe clock. Okay, you try these two on your own. All right, so this one is one o'clock, one o'clock, and this one is six o'clock. Six o apostrophe clock. Okay, now um, we're gonna put that on a digital clock, which is what this looks like right there. And then we're going to write two different ways to say that time. So this will be like, um, like 45 minutes after eight or something like that. So here, take a look. Our hour hand is not at the nine yet. It's almost nine o'clock, but not quite, which means it's still eight o'clock. So eight. And then for our minute hand, we're going to count by fives until we hit where it is, starting here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So you could say 845. You could say, oh, right, 845. You could also say quarter till, because this amount of the clock is a quarter of the clock, or a quarter of an hour, right? 15 minutes left is uh, a quarter of an hour. You could say quarter till nine. Okay, next one. Our hour hand is not at the seven yet. It's almost there, but it's still six. Six. And our minute hand, let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you could say six, 30. You could also say, because half of the hour has passed since it was six o'clock, you can say half past six. Okay, next one. Our hour hand, it's not quite four o'clock yet, it's still three o'clock, so we put three. And then our minute hand, five, ten, fifteen. 
Okay, now here we have another example of a quarter of an hour, that 15 minutes. So we can say 315. 15. We can also say quarter past uh, three. Because it was three o'clock and now it is a quarter of an hour past three o'clock. All right, here we go. Checking our hour hand, not quite at the three, which means it's still two. So two, counting by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 245. You could say two, 45. Here's another example, just like this one. What do you say? We say it's a quarter till the next hour, which would be, oopsie, which would be three. So quarter till three. All right, you go ahead and try these last ones on your own, okay? Now, let's go ahead and practice the opposite. When you're drawing these hands on the clock, you want to be really obvious which one's the short one and which one's the long one, okay? So 9.15, we're going to put our hour hand, the short one, a little tiny bit past the 9, but we're going to make sure it looks short. Boop, boop. Then 15, our longer hand is going to be at 5, 10, 15, right here. Whoop. See how much longer that one looks? Half past seven. Now think about that. That means it was seven o'clock and now half an hour has passed since then. So it's 7.30, right? So our hour hand is actually going to be about halfway between the seven and the eight because it's halfway between seven and eight o'clock. And our minute hand is going to be pointing right at that six because six times five is 30. Oh, I forgot to write right here, 9.15. And then seven. 30, three o'clock, our hour hand is gonna be on the three, boop, boop, and our minute hand is gonna be on the zero, which looks like a 12. Three, zero, zero. Okay, you go ahead and try these next ones on your own. Okay, when you're ready, we'll do the table together. So with this table, we are thinking about the difference between a.m. and p.m. Now, I got confused about this a lot as a kid until I remembered pickles and mustard. Pickles and mustard in my family are lunch and dinner foods. So the one that says p.m. is when you would have lunch and when you would have dinner. Okay, so like the afternoon. The other one, you could think like almost midday and that's like coming up to uh, from midnight up until almost noon, okay? But pickles and mustard, so 12 o'clock p.m. is time for some hot dogs. Pickles and mustard, 12 p.m. lunchtime, <laughs> okay? Uh, I, if you have a better way of remembering that, you can let me know. So 3.15 a.m., that's 3.15 in the morning, right? So it's probably dark out. The sun has not yet risen part of the day, early morning. I'll put right here, PM. This is not what it officially stands for. This is just the way I remember it. Pickles and mustard. I'm not gonna have that for breakfast. I mean, maybe you would, but I don't. Uh, an activity you should be doing is sleeping. At 3.15 a.m., you should be tucked in. Sleeping. 8 a.m., that would be 8 in the morning, right? So it's probably light out. Part of the day is just regular morning. And an activity might be having breakfast. Okay, 2.30 p.m., 2.30 pickles and mustard. That's like afternoon, right? So it'll be light out. It will be uh, 
early afternoon. And an activity might be having lunch. Kind of a late lunch, but. Okay. 6.15, pickles and mustard. You're having those hamburgers for dinner, right? Uh, so it's probably like sunset. I'm going to put sunset right here. So not quite light, not quite dark. Kind of depends on the season. Part of the day, evening. And then activity might be having dinner. Eight forty-five p.m. Kind of late for eating, but pickles and mustard is the in the later part of the day. That is dark out. It is nighttime. An activity you might do is getting ready for bed. Okay. Um, join me next time for when we go into telling time to the nearest five minutes and one minute. Okay. See you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye, everybody.